Okay, a video explaining how we use parallax to find distances, and in particular how we use it to find distances to objects in space. Now, naval parallax, parallax on boats, has been used for an awful long time, and what it relies on is that you can see a boat in the distance, and if you stand at the front of your boat, then the object you're looking at will appear at a certain angle. Here, it will appear to the right, and if you stand at the back of your object, then it will appear to the left. Um, that's only true for, for objects that are fairly close to us. Um, now, because of that, we make a very basic triangle. If we know the length of the boat, which we should do, it's fairly easy to measure, and we also use some sort of uh, either a very basic protractor or some kind of angle measuring device, then we can split this up into a triangle, a right angle triangle like so, where we can find uh, this angle theta and uh, p, and use those two angles and the length of the boat to calculate the distance to the object. It's been used, it's very simple, it's been used for an awful long time. Now, doing it with uh, objects in space is no different. The only difference really here is that we don't have a boat, um, but we do have two extremes, two ends of our orbit that we can use. We can use the the furthest point to one side of the sun, so the first point away in the winter, and we can use the opposite side of, of our orbit, of the Earth's orbit, uh, six months later in the summer. And this gives us a, a very long baseline of, of two astronomical units, where one AU is the distance from the Earth to the sun. So it gives us our baseline. If we look into space and we can see an object that appears to move, appears in different locations depending on where we are in our orbit, such as this single green star, there are two green stars shown, it's meant to represent one single green star seen at different times of the year. Uh, it looks as if that green star is, there's two of them in the distance, whereas actually there's only one and it appears, it is actually exists there at the intersect of those two lines. Um, we then have a very simple triangle. We can measure those angles uh, quite quite easily and quite accurately. Uh, we know one astronomical unit and we can measure the distance, the average distance of the Earth to that star. Some units um, we, we often use for parallax. First one is the astronomical unit, so the distance from us, us to the Sun, from the Earth to the Sun. The average, obviously it varies because our orbit isn't uh, perfectly circular. And the parsec, which is a new unit you won't have come across yet, uh, but it's used often in parallax. It was defined because of parallax. And it's the distance to it's the distance between uh, the average distance between us and the star where the parallax angle is one arc second. Now, if you're into, into sailing, you might already know about uh, arc seconds and arc minutes. But an arc second is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. So each degree is split into 60 arc minutes, and each arc minute is then stick, split into 60 arc seconds. So it's a way of uh, further dividing a single degree. And if one parsec, there we go, is, is roughly equal to 3 times 10 to the 16 meters. So it's uh, it's a little bit bigger um, than an astronomical unit. On Earth, we can typically measure objects that are that have a parallax angle uh, of a of one hundredth of an arc second. Uh, it gives us a, a distance, a maximum distance of parallax of 100 parsecs from Earth. Uh, and if we use a satellite, we can uh, get away rid of the atmospheric attenuation and and the, the effects of clouds and atmosphere and everything else, uh, we can measure 300 parsecs, so one three hundredth of an arc second uh, parallax angle. So here's an, here's a, an example um, at work. The view on the left, we're looking straight up at the, the night sky in July, and we notice these three stars, and if we look again six months later, we can see that, that two of the stars appear to have moved. Uh, the green one appears to have moved by a total of uh, each grid line here represents one arc second. So the green one's moved a total of two arc seconds, which means on average, um, if we kind of imagine that triangle that we used earlier for the boat, the parallax angle now will be one uh, one arc second. So that green star is one parsec away. Um, the yellow star has moved a total of five and a half uh, arc seconds, which means uh, it's 2.75 parsecs away. Again, we're splitting that, uh, that angle in two. And the blue star hasn't moved at all, which tells me it's very, very far away. And parallax is probably not an appropriate means of measuring the distance to it. Uh, certainly not parallax uh, using our eyes in this crude method here. Okay, so that's an introduction to parallax and, uh, and, and what it is and how we use it for measuring distance to objects in space.